Okay, so now I am properly clothed to go out here in the weather. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold when I originally came out. Bear, really. Um, now the dogs are barking. They think I've got something in my hand that is going to feed them. It's not. But you can see how beautiful the day is. It's beautiful, but the wind is whipping. And of course, when I come on this side of the house, the wind just kind of whips around the house and just makes it really cold. But I'm gonna put some hay in the chicken coops. I've um, already fed the hens. I started fermenting. I'm sorry about the wind, because I know y'all aren't gonna be able to hear me. And bears trying to be a jerk. for the other animals. Let me get these gladiolas. So anyway, I put all my gladiolas out here on the edge of the greenhouse because they started to sprout and it was nice, nice and warm. But of course, now we're having one more day of cold, icy. Well, I don't think this one's gonna get quit. Get quit peeing on my plants. Um, I think this is just gonna be snow weather. It didn't say anything about ice, it just said snow. So I think this one's gonna be okay. You know, um, usually when we get ice, that's when it, well, actually it's Arkansas, everything shuts us down. But I'm thinking with it being ice or snow this time, we won't close everything like we normally do. And I hope not, cause I've got to work this weekend and I don't want to have to brave ice and snow and stuff. And I'm bringing my, Pep, my mint and my oregano back in. They do not like cold weather at all. But look how wonderful my mint is. I love mint. I come out and I just clip it off and put a lot of it in my teas. Oh, I love peppermint tea. It is so good. With local honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the last of it. Okay, so we've got that in, and I'll show you real quick what I do when I ferment my feed for my chickens. I'm just gonna put some water in my bucket. And then I'm gonna put my corn in. And I'm gonna let it sit until tomorrow morning when I feed the chickens because this will make it go further. It also increases the nutrition value of the fermentation because of the fermentation part. I'm trying with prices on feed to make the feed go a little bit further. So it seems like it's been working. So we'll, I'm just gonna continue to check. So that was three. Let's try three scoops today and see how three scoops hold them. So I'll leave this here and let that ferment throughout the day. If I left it a couple more days, it would ferment a lot. I've got to work with my worms and come up with a way to keep them warm. But um, let me go get my eggs. Got a little container to put my eggs in. I've got lots and lots of eggs. So I'm having to become creative with what container I come and grab because I've got tons of eggs. And of course, we do not go through them that fast. Oh, ladies are laying. We'll do the, we'll do, here, let me show you my ladies. There's my ladies. They're laying, so. We'll give them some privacy and let them lay. So we'll go ahead and start getting some hay. And I'll probably just put y'all on a timer because I'm gonna do this manually instead of getting the truck and everything. So I can't carry hay and a camera at the same time, but I'll put you on top of Meaner's cage and let y'all watch away at what you have to do every day, even when you go to work to have a farm and a homestead and become self-sufficient.
go ahead and he'll go ahead and spread that out but he's got some to keep his feet warm and out of the water let me get some more and this is just a temporary container to put him in because we were um breeding him but then it, the weather was just crazy. So we put them all back, the hens back up and left him in here. Cause I didn't want him running crazy and vlog me. Chickens are prepped for the snow. Let's put this over here. Just trying to cover all the areas. This is not a pen where he usually would stay at all the time. I'm thinking I might get some more hay for the big boys. Yeah, I think I'm going to get another... Um, load for the big boys because they've got a lot more area than meaner. Now we're going to go get some feed for those roosters there and we'll leave meaner's cage to last. See where I fermented their feed and they still had tons left over and that's one bucket and I was putting at least five buckets a day in their feeder and they would go through it a day and a half and that's half a bucket so I think fermenting is going to be the way that I'm going to go so that I don't end up wasting all my feed and be cheaper on my feed bill. All right, guys. Oh, no, that's a bad thing. My trees have blooms on them. Crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot a brick. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I'll have to come back this afternoon. I've got an appointment today. Um. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So I've got four of those. Well, not to have another video this afternoon because I cannot leave my fruit trees butted out like that in the snow. I will have no fruit or leaves. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today as I'm getting the animals on the farm ready for the hopefully last winter weather of the season and make what you have beautiful.